hello everyone uh, welcome to Mahika devlog number six my name is James in the game developer for candy cabinet studio if you haven't watched my previous vlogs you can click here at the top right corner to watch it quick intro about myself I'm a c-sharp developer during weekdays and in the game developer every free time I have and Mahika is my first video game project in steam um, apologies for my voice Hay fever uh, is creeping up on me. It's uh, springtime here in New Zealand. So hopefully this will be a quick demo. I'm just going to show you some, uh, you know, graphics updates from my graphic artist uh, Jethro and my new enemy spawner. So let's open up the latest build. Here we go. Right, so... As I mentioned on my last vlog, I've updated the, the game title, so it will look and feel like a magical game, which is what the, the game is all about, you know, all magic, RPG, and dungeons. So yep, uh, we're still going to improve the UI, uh, hopefully we can have more stuff uh, to show to you uh, on the next, uh, you know, uh, week or so, but for now. Here's what it is. Uh, let's move on. Right, as I as I mentioned, uh, just the same uh, stuff that I was uh, doing or using, uh, and I was uh, creating some new hero. Uh, let's use this hero that I've uh, created earlier. Right. So if you haven't noticed. Just gonna pick up these uh, weapons. If you haven't noticed, I have two new uh, props or assets here. This one is the uh, treasure chest that uh, Jethro made. Pretty cool. And this one is the, the tor torch or dungeon torch. Uh, it's uh, I would say the previous one is still looking better just because of the effects. But we'll update uh, our, our torch once we get all these effects going. But yeah, it's looking good. And again, uh, it will be based on the uh, environment that we're creating. Right now, the uh, environment here, the dungeon environment, is not the one that we wanted. And Jethro is just uh, working hard to just create these new uh, graphics environments. Cool, those are the two new ones. I think we have another one. Let's go back, no, not go back, go forward. Uh, Mr. Slime, you're still already there. Cool. Uh, I think you're familiar with Mr. Green, Sli Green Slime. So yeah, it is my new enemy spawner. If you notice, it's spawning in a couple of seconds. So yeah, it's a custom spawner that I created wherein it, I can, you know, I could set up uh, what, uh, the, the, the time delay and the spawn point for my enemies and, you know, what kind of enemies is going to spawn. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, I was just testing it uh, yesterday because I just finished it, finished it yesterday. And put some uh, particle effects when it's actually spawned. And also, don't forget the this is the new uh pot environment pots that uh, actually jethro made the black one is uh, us and th this one is the um, old one again it just looks like uh, you know a pot gray pot but what we want to do is create more colors to it so we have a couple of more uh, clay pots that are destructible what else do I have? Yeah, this is the enemy spawner. Uh, let's go into detail on how I actually created this one. Ah, okie dokie. Da, da, da. Um, cool. So, this is, as you know, Unity, and I've been using Unity to create the uh, game. And over here, at the left panel, you can see my enemy spawner and I have some prefab spawn points which I also created 
uh, with a couple of particle effects in a collider wherein it will be the uh, the one that actually checks if the uh, spawn point is available or not uh, based on if uh, you know a, a hero or uh, an enemy is uh, still colliding with the circle collider and the spawner as I mentioned is very customizable at this point and I've probably updated more um, I could have uh, a list of uh, game object pool that I want to put in wherein I will pull all these uh, enemies and then we also have a pool of spawn points that I would want to put in uh, and uh, I can definitely spawn from uh, these game object pools into the spawn points and what I also did was I can spawn in sequence or I can spawn them randomly so it would be cool to have uh, these all kinds of enemies spawning at different uh, spawn points and different intervals. Uh, be great because it's going to be an action pack, uh, you know, a video game like like a dungeon crawler. So yeah. Um, what else? Actually, this uh, lean game object pool, this one, I got this from uh, the asset store, Unity asset store. It's actually free, so I've been using it also in my mobile games. It does have a nice, uh, uh, simple features that I really like and want for a game object pool. And yeah, that's it. Uh, if you also noticed, I did have one here uh, gain XP because I was testing how my hero will actually gain XP when it actually um, kill or destroy an enemy and right now it's uh, going well because it's gaining experience points and it's actually leveling up well, the effects for leveling up is not yet there. I haven't actually added them, but I'll add them later. Once, uh, you know, we've uh, updated much of our gameplay and environments. But it's great. Oopsie. Cool, and that's it. Um, hope you like this demo. Uh, please support us. Candy Cabinets and uh, Jethro Pixel um, in our game dev journey and then uh, you know follow us uh, in our social media and website uh, yeah stay safe everyone uh, always have fun and uh, see you all on my next vlog thanks bye